All right, welcome back in to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Games and Things. If you're looking for a gift this holiday season for the entire family, something the whole family can enjoy for years to come, Games and Things is the place to shop, folks. They have game, imagine, pool table, foosball table, air hockey table, table tennis, or maybe it's home theater seating for the football games that are coming up, for the holiday movies. And also, if you're doing some stocking stuffing, if you're just looking for a last-second gift idea, well, gift cards are available. Games and things. That's the place to go right out there. Check out OurGameRoom.com. It's another way you can visit them online. Games and things. All right. Uh, quick slants. I'm going to give these guys about a minute each to say whatever they want to say. And I'm going to start with uh, I'll start with Josh in the middle there. Josh, where are you going to go? So uh, play off uh, a little bit of the last segment. Uh, the the change from Butch Jones to Jeremy Pruitt and everything that has gone on over the last couple of years, it's very easy to say, you know what, let's just move forward with the future, which means move on from a lot of people. That means often move on from some of the older players. So. I thought in this segment, give more credit to the veterans, the seniors, the older guys. Uh, Jared Garantano, he's a junior, but a fourth-year junior. Trey Smith, think about the adversity he's gone through to play football for Tennessee and then look at the way that he plays football for Tennessee. Credit to Marquez Callaway, Juwan Jennings, what he's dealt with. Uh, Daryl Taylor, after the first month of the season this year, called himself out and said, I have not played well enough. I have not played hard enough. Look at his play since then. Daniel Batuli, the way that he's led. Tennessee's not close to this position without the seniors and the veteran players who have helped lead the way, and then they can hand things over to Henry To'o To'o and that, that defensive line that returns Josh Palmer next year to lead the wide receivers. They have set Tennessee up in a position where they can succeed even more in the future. Well, and I'm glad you went there because you kind of bookended something. It was might have been our first, might have been our last preseason show, but I remember you specifically brought up the point that for as much as people hated Butch Jones in that last class. They're counting on those 2016, 2017 guys this year and about midway through the season. When they, when they were one and four, everybody was saying, well, bench all those guys. And now, as you said earlier, you're going to be counting on them. They came through for you. Yeah, Tim Jordan steps up and, and has a few good games where he's carrying the ball well, hitting big blocks. Matthew Butler, Josh Palmer. Chan Chandler said his moments. Yeah, yeah, so guys, some guys that return as well. So it's not just the seniors. Those yeah. those 2017 guys, those guys were for sure forgotten. Von Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Out of absolutely. Nowhere, yeah, it's so. Latrell Bumpus. It, it's a it's a pretty long list of guys that have helped lead the way. All right, uh, Mike Stoll. So uh, my uh, quick slant is going to be on one real simple subject, and you'll relate to this: is Andy, right? Andy. <laughs> Or Vandy, because if you've seen the pictures on, on social media, they don't even have enough people at their games to spell out Vandy. <laughs> it's, it's sad. And here's the thing that's really sad is you don't ever lose to Vanderbilt. You should never even think about losing to Vanderbilt. It is a team that, as a player, you despise. They think they're smarter than you and better than you. I hire people to work for me for <laughs> Vanderbilt. So let's say I hired a Vanderbilt person. <laughs> I am tired and sick and just fed up with losing to Vanderbilt. You don't lose to Vanderbilt. When we went out there, we are like, who are we going to take out? How many guys can we knock over? And now you're, you've got a three-game skid to those guys? They can't even put 300 people in the stands. Vanderbilt, don't you ever lose to them, and you just make them pay for it. There you go. Uh, Bob Hodge and I sat behind you at the 2005 game when the, sna when the streak was snapped. And I've, you look like Willem Dafoe at the end of Platoon. <laughs> uh, and you get shot in the back. All right. Uh, uh, Chuck Cavalleris, I know where you're going. Yeah, well, on another sad note, boy, our community lost a really, really great person in Rocky Good just a week ago. And, of course, Rocky was a friend of mine for a long time. You see his, his, his picture there, smiling, happy, a humble person. Uh, gone way too soon at age 66. I saw Rocky play in high school in 1972. And you talk about a man among boys in a football field. But he was also really, really good in basketball, baseball. He ran track, played golf later. He's in the Knoxville Sports Hall of Fame. He needs to be in the Tennessee uh, Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'm trying not to tear up because I don't do that. but. Even, as great as Rocky Wood, what Rocky Good was in sports, he was even better in life, and you hear that. Rocky was active in, 20, in 25 charity organizations. For 35 years, he was the guy that directed and kept the Patricia Neal Classic going. Without him, there wouldn't still be a Knoxville Open. You can go on and on and on. But what took Rocky from, from us was a form of dementia from concussions playing football. And there's going to be more and more 
of his classmates from his time in the 70s that go through the same thing. And there was no cure from it. But you want to know what Rocky Good means and how he was? I went back and his emails and his text, he always ended them to me with, how's your family doing? God bless you and love you, brother. We love you too, Rocky. VFL, longtime SEC official who was honored yesterday on CBS uh, during the Georgia Texas A&M game. And uh, of course was on with uh, Jimmy and John on Sports Talk for years and years and years. Uh, all our thoughts to uh, Rocky Good and his family, uh, to the family of Rocky Good. And the, uh, the service will week. be Tuesday night, 5 to 7, okay. uh, at the, the Concord United Methodist Church in Ferry. Very good. All right, tell you what, we'll be back next for the final word. Woo.